Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't joined me before, my name's Brogan and if you've clicked on one of my videos before and you're back again, thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone who clicks on my videos, likes what they see, subscribes um, and clicks on them again because, you know, it's the only way you're gonna grow, isn't it? Um, anyway, before I start rambling on and saying things that I don't even know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Um, today I am doing a Kmart haul. Now I'm doing another one because I wasn't going to so quickly, but I walked into Kmart the other day and I was like, wow, there's one dress in particular, the second dress, that I was like, absolutely couldn't, I, I can't think of what I'm going to say, but I actually absolutely couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, I've just bought a dress almost exactly the same for probably triple the price. So I'm very excited. So I had to I had to buy stuff. I had to buy what was in there. I just thought it's just, you know, it's it's important that I do this. <laughs> I don't know why it's important. It's not really important to anyone else but me. So I thought, no, I need to get a few new things. I need to uh, see what they've got in for their autumn range. And I need to do another haul, basically. Um, so that's for today. Now, I do want to uh, address the elephant in the room my neck. <laughs> I'm standing here in a roll neck while it's bloody 30 something degrees out because I wanted to hide, I wanted to hide this but I feel like I'm just standing and looking like a pillock for no reason and um, because it's not hidden so I'm just sweating off my bollocks for no reason. <laughs> um, but the elephant in the room is I did have an operation now I did say I was going to put a video up about it but I just don't know if anyone really wants to hear about my thyroid issues so I'll just tell you very quickly and if anyone wants me to put a video up then maybe I will because I did record some things around my operation um, but anyway so I had to have half my thyroid taken out because I had a seven centimetre lump on it it's been sent off for testing but it's most likely benign I've had it for a few years and it just keeps keeps growing um, so I just wanted to get it taken out just before it turned into anything not worth keeping in your neck. I don't think that I should sort of, you know, risk myself or anything for having a lump in there. Anyway, I don't want to go too much into it. If you want to hear more about it, I will put up the video because I have done bits of one, but it's a bit jumbled and it's not very well put together. So if you want to see it, then let me know and I'll put it up. If not, then yeah, that's an explanation. So I've got a big scar, which hopefully will heal. But if it doesn't, hey ho, you know, who cares? That's part of my story. So, anyway, let's move on to the Kmart haul because I've got some amazing things to show you. And yes, it was 400 and something dollars again. Now I'm going to cave at this with the fact that I'm not going to keep everything. And as I go through, I'll tell you what I'll keep and I'll tell you what I'm not keeping because, um, and why I'm not keeping them. Um, because I got a few things that I thought maybe I won't keep this, but it would be good to show you guys. Um, so I like to be honest, I like to tell you what I'm keeping because although I do buy a lot, I don't keep a lot. And I think you guys are starting to see that now. But anyway, I just thought I'd, you know, cave it there because I thought sometimes you see all these YouTubers and they're buying all this stuff and you're like, how do you even have all this money? Like, where does, <laughs> where, where is this money coming from? Because God knows I'm not being paid by YouTube. So I really just wanted to make sure that you all knew that actually most of this goes back. I only keep what I like. I only keep what looks good on me. Um, I don't keep things just for the sake of keeping them. Blah, blah, blah. Not going to go on about it because it's really super boring. But let's get on to the video. Let's take a look at the clothes. Let's take a look at the clothes. I think you're going to like what you see. Well, I don't know, actually. That makes me sound a little bit big-headed. Like, I think you're going to like what you see. Um, actually, on that note, if you follow me on Instagram or if you're on here and you are someone that, you know, wants to put a little comment saying, I hope you do a bikini haul soon because you're really sexy or you want to make rude comments like that, I don't really want your comments and I don't really want you watching me. Um, I, I hate to sound horrible, but there are certain things that I just don't find acceptable and people, men and women, being sleazy is not my bag. 
So you pro should probably unfollow because I'm never going to do a bikini haul. I'm never going to get my body out on camera. That is not me. That's not what this channel's about. So yeah, you should probably just unsubscribe now. Um, and I won't respond to comments like that. And I won't like comments like that. You know, everyone always sort of says the algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm. Are we going to sell our souls for the algorithm? No, I'm not. You know, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Boring, let's get on to the actual clothes. Okay, so my first item is this dress, which I absolutely love. Now, you guys know that I love a little bit of a cowgirl look. So this is like, like a gingham style dress. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretending that I know there and I'm, I don't. Um, but this is really cute. Now, I think I'm gonna keep this piece because I do really like it. It's got like a flannel type feel. And it's a little bit like, like creped, if that makes sense. So it's a really cool little dress. It's very, um, like it's, it, there's a lot to look at, a lot to feel, I really like it. It's got really simple buttons, just like purple buttons, not, not amazing. Um, and it's got really cute sleeves as well, which have like a little pulley bit, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't get my words out. Everyone knows I can't get my words out. Anyway. So, um, I absolutely really love this. I think it's so cute and it really goes with my cowgirl thing. Not, not that I actually dress like a cowgirl because that just isn't appropriate for me right now. <laughs> so this is really cute. I love it. Size 14. This one is $25 and it's the collar tear dress. I don't think you can read that, so I don't know why I'm putting that up. But I really like this one. I think that it's so cute. And I think if you have a, a pair of cowgirl boots, I think you're onto a winner with this dress because I think it's absolutely lovely. I have also paired this with a belt. Now, you can go into Kmart and you can buy these belts. And I've got another set, like another um, belt as well that I use. Um, so you can go into Kmart, you can buy these belts for $8.00. This is the large, I need to take this one back. You'll see in all of my clips that this is a little bit big for me. Guys, I think I'm losing weight. I actually think I am. So, I'm taking this one back, but I'm going to exchange it because I, I, I literally use these until they're falling apart. I've got one in my cupboard right now that is literally falling apart. So, I needed to get a new one, so I went and got that. But I've paired that dress with this, just so you can see... Um, you know, how I may style it. Now, I talk about styling because I don't actually style things in these videos because A, it's a little bit of a ball ache. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say ball ache. It's a little bit of a pain in the bum <laughs> to actually style things when you've got so many things and you're in a hot room with no air con. Oh. Sorry, there's something flying overhead. <laughs> um, you're in a room with no aircon and you just can't be bothered to be putting shoes on and, you know, fanning around with stuff. So, I haven't styled things and, yeah, I think I think styling videos are probably... I tried to do it on Instagram and I was just like, oh, God, like, I can't be bothered to do this. And I know that sounds really terrible. If you want to see me style things, then perfect, I will. But I feel like... Until I've got an audience that actually wants to see things, I don't know, I'm probably not going to. But if you guys say that you want me to do certain things, then perfect, I will. I'll, you know, style and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I always bang on, don't I? So anyway, my next piece is a jean jacket. Now guys, I'm not keeping this because as you all know, I only just bought a jean jacket and I bought it in the sale as well. So I don't think it was too much more expensive than this one, but I'm sorry, Kmart's jean jacket is amazing. Guys, if I were you I would, and you're looking for a jean jacket, I would go out and get this one because I don't think you're gonna find a jean jacket like it. No, that's a lie, sorry. If you're looking for a jean jacket, this fills every single, every single tick off that you're going to want. It's, I just, you know, what can you really want in a jean jacket? You want it to be a little bit fitted. You want it to look nice. Ah. Um, <laughs> so this was a size 14 anyway, size 14. And it is $28. 
So I think $28, that's really good. I don't even think my other one was as cheap as that, and that was in the sale. Um, so in terms of buttons, it's just got standard buttons that any sort of denim jacket would have, which I think, you know, stops it from looking cheap. No one would know this was Kmart. No one. I don't think anyone would know I like jean jackets from Kmart. It's got little um, side pockets that are actually side pockets because you know sometimes they pretend that they are, which is really annoying. Um, and then it's got boob pockets. <laughs> so we've got some boob pockets on here. Um, I've rolled the sleeves. You don't have to have the sleeves rolled, but I don't really like the look of not having sleeves rolled. But this is just a really sort of light denim. It's a light colour as well. It's a light denim. It's not too heavy. It's just really lovely. It's not stiff. You know, sometimes you can buy denim jackets and they're really stiff. This one isn't. And I honestly, I can't, I, I think that this is such great value for money. Now, I can't keep it because I've got a denim jacket. But I do really love it. I think that it's a really great piece. But the next item... Now, this was the one where I was like, hang on, because I'm really actually quite thirsty. This was the one where I was actually like, oh my God, I can't believe Kmart is doing that dress. And I can't believe it looks so good as well. Honestly, you're going to be surprised if you haven't seen this already. This dress, and can I say it was $25? Have a look. It's just like such a nice denim dress and oh my god the sleeves i can't even tell you look at the sleeves look how cute these are i'm not even joking guys i i think that this is such a great buy and i've just bought one like i said for like triple the amount this is the dress this is that dress and i'm really upset i'm really upset about it because i'm like i can't take it back because i've worn it but this one is slightly like you know that tiered sort of look and it doesn't come in at the waist, so I've put a belt on with it, um, but I just think it's so nice. It's a really light denim. I don't even think it is actually denim. Is it? I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like denim. If it is, then it's a super light denim. No, it is denim, but it's just not, you know, the huge, the, the big thick denim, which I think is nicer for a dress. I can't find the label that will say, oh, here we go. Oh, it's at the top. <laughs> 100% cotton! 100% <gasps> cotton! Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, pff, what a great denim look. And it just feels lovely. And honestly, I love it. I really love it. I wish I could keep it, but I've just bought one. So I can't. And I'm really in love with it. I'm really upset. So I've got the size 14. This is $25. Honestly, guys, this is a steal. I think this is a steal. Now, I've told you before, I'm more of a Kmart girl. I'm more of a Target girl than I am a Kmart girl, but Kmart is winning me over with these hauls. It really is. I'm absolutely in love with it. I just, I love this dress so much. And I think if you're looking for a denim dress, or if you're looking for a denim jacket, get in there quick, because I don't think these are going to last long. I really don't. But yes, absolutely love it. And I just love the sleeves. I just think the sleeves, the little cuffs, on the sleeves are just beautiful i don't know you might look at it on me and go go take that back but i don't know i really like it anyway and i think that it looks nice so that's the main thing isn't it but tell me if you think it looks crap okay so my next item is a bit of a miss i'm not i'm not loving this now this is something that i would have worn back in england um but mm, I don't know guys, I'm not sure. This is it's so thick as well. Who needs to be wearing this in Australia unless you're living down in maybe Melbourne or Tasmania? Honestly, it's so hot. And I thought, oh, I'll get it, I'll put a belt on with it. You could put, you know, high knee boots on with it. It could look really nice. I'm not sure. I don't know, you guys might love it, but I'm not sure. It didn't look good on me, I don't think. This is a size 14 and this is $30. I just don't know if it's worth it. Um, <gasps> mini version available no <gasps> oh my god they do minis oh I've just fallen in love with it now oh oh my god they do mini versions <laughs> I love minis like I'm literally like oh my god you know I love wearing the same thing as kids I just think it looks so cool 
Anyway, I didn't really like this dress and now I do. But it does have like nice sleeves. I like the puffy look of the sleeves, you know. But I just don't think it does anything for your figure, for me anyway. Um, I put a belt around it because I thought, oh, a belt's got to do something with this. And I just, ah, uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I didn't put it on with knee-high boots. Maybe you'd have to try it. Or maybe a pair of tights would look quite cute. It could look quite cute for work if you put a pair of tights on. Um, I think that that look, could look quite sweet. But I just feel like it's too hot. And I don't know, maybe I'm forgetting what winter's like. But I, I do honestly feel like... Is, it, is that going to be a bit hot, like, all the time? No, because actually you do have to wear coats, don't you? So, I don't know. I just don't... F nah, it's not my vibe. It's not my vibe, but I love the fact that it does a mini. So, all the mums out there, if you want to wear a matching outfit, that is your go-to. And I love it. I love that they do minis. This dress. Now... This is a real conundrum for me. I hate dresses that cling to the bottom of me. And this dress is very clingy at the bottom. It's not very flattering in terms of the style um, of it. For my type of figure, a pear shape, guys, you know, I'm going to keep waffling on about it. Um, but I actually do really like this dress. So I love the sleeves. The sleeves are like you know, six is five. They sort of go really in at the wrist and then they sort of puff out and they have that sort of puff sleeve. Oh, honestly, I really love that sleeve. If this was the top, I think that I would be in love with it. I do think I'm going to take this back because I just don't feel like it does anything for me. It's that knit feel, which is lovely. I really like it. I think this could be a great work dress. I think this could be a great shopping dress, lunch, dinner. You can sort of do anything with this one. I really like it. Helps it's black as well. I think that, you know, black can always be dressed up or dressed down, can't it? Let's face it. Um, but I do really like this one. I think that it is very cute. But I just don't think for me. Now, I got this in the size 14 and it's $30. $30, I feel like, is a bit too much for this dress. I really do, honestly. I just, I don't think that that's actually worth $30. I think if it was maybe 20 to 25 then fine. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. You tell me if you think they look nice. I, I just don't feel like it did. But I paired that dress with a jean jacket, which I'm in love with. Can I just say, I'm absolutely in love with this. This is just like that cool sort of, you know, your boyfriend's just dropped you off on his motorbike. I wouldn't get on the back of a motorbike, but do you know what I mean? That sort of look. And you're just walking in with like a little bodycon dress on. Not that I would wear one, but you know, it's that sort of look, isn't it? It's just very cute. Anyway, I haven't even shown you what it is. It's definitely like an oversized jacket. It's that denim feel. Let's see if they're tricking us. It's 100% cotton. <gasps> is denim like just cotton? I don't know. <laughs> it's denim, denim. Like denim's denim, isn't it? It's not cotton. So I'm like, are these just faking out? Like, I don't know. Like, would it say denim on there? Would it? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I sound stupid now, but um, <laughs> I feel like I just sounded like a real like idiot. Anyway. I got the size 12. How much is this one? I'm learning now that they put their tags under the arm. Size 12, $35. I think it's worth it. Absolutely love it. It's only a little bit more than the jean jacket. It's got this really nice distressed sort of denim look. Don't like the buttons. The buttons are that, but you know, you can live with it. I just think it looks really cool on. I've um, put up the arms. You can wear them down. I didn't even see them down, I don't think, but... Yeah, I think these sort of jackets, you have to have the arms up, don't you really? I think otherwise they look a bit too straight-laced for a look that they're not going for. They're not going for the straight-laced look, they're going for the edgy look. And I, I think if you wear your sleeves down, it doesn't allow for the edgy look, does it? It's just a bit of a odd one. Anyway, rambling on over nothing. But... I love this one. I think this is so cute. I think it looks really nice with the black dress. I personally would wear it with a different black dress or a different outfit, but I think this is an absolute bargain for what it is. And I think that you can wear it over shorts, you can wear it over a dress, you can wear it over probably a pair of jeans. Um, so yeah, I just, I think it's a really nice versatile piece that you can keep in your wardrobe for ages. And guys, you know that I like to keep things for ages. Like I like to keep things in my wardrobe 
for a very long while as long as i'm wearing them if, I, if i'm not wearing them then they go but i do like to keep things in my wardrobe because i don't like to be wasteful and i think that this is a piece that i would probably keep for a very long time <sighs> always gets bloody hot in here don't it well you wouldn't know but it does i promise you now the next piece i'm gonna try and get through this quickly because there is so much like i said it was like 400 and something dollars i'll have to find out exactly how much it was and put it up but the next piece i'm a bit like mm, oh, i feel like a proper bogan in this um this i thought yeah loungewear you know how much i loved their loungewear before and i was like yeah i want that oh this sort of it was a hit and miss so this is their jumper phoenix all stars league west coast varsity champion arizona 1989 um so this is a jumper set with tracky pants track tracker decks whatever you call them trackers um joggers so i've got the size 16 in the joggers and they are how much were they we just don't know we just don't know they just don't have prices on and for the top i've got the size 12 and how much was that it doesn't have prices on what is wrong with everything okay so these are both 15 bucks each which is actually really good i think that if you're um someone who's quite sporty and you just want a track suit just to wear to somewhere then perfect you know like I don't know what sporty people do <laughs> when they wear, I've never been sporty, you know, like when they wear tracksuits like to their practice and then they, you know, get into their shorts and stuff and then they put tracksuits back on after. I'm just making this up. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it in American films and I'm like, you know, when they do this, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you're quite sporty, this might be a good one for you. But, I mean, it's okay. I think it's probably a little bit too bright for me. And I know that I do wear a lot of bright stuff. But I feel like this is just block bright all over. And I'm like, oh, is it a bit much? And I think it is a bit much. I quite like the feel of the tracksuit pants. They've got, like, the furry stuff inside. The trackers, as well, have no um, pockets on the bum. They've got pockets at the front. I don't think the jumper has any pockets. Hang on. No, the jumper doesn't have any pockets. And they've both sort of got, you know, just the standard jogger cuff and jogger bottom. So they come in. And I think that they look okay. I think they're all right. I just don't like the big block colour. But I don't know. Tell me what you think. Everyone might like it. Everyone might like bright pink on me. People tend to like bright pink on me. I don't know. I'm not keen. Maybe I should have got another colour. They do them in loads of colours. So just know that when you go in there, there's loads of colours in there. But for 30 bucks for a um, tracksuit sort of set, I don't think that's bad. I won't be keeping it. I'm not in love with it. Okay, so my next item, I'm in love with these jeans. I actually can't believe that they're from Kmart because whenever I try on Kmart jeans, they usually go too loose too quick or they just don't sit right or they're too tight on the tummy but big on the legs or big on uh, big on the tummy and small on the legs. Like they just don't seem to have the cut right for me. So I was very, very happy when I found these. These are boyfriend mid-rise, which is not what I usually go for. I usually go for a high rise because that's the look that looks best on me. So a size 14 these ones are 25 bucks 25 bucks i mean can you believe it i'm keeping these 100 they're a light denim i don't usually wear light denim because as you know i like to keep darker colors on the bottom because the bottoms for me is quite big and you know i think darker looks nicer on the bottom they usually say that for a pair anyway <laughs> i'm always going on about being a pair uh, but they usually say that about being a pair anyway so I don't tend to go for light colours on the bottom, but these are absolutely love. Now, at the bottom, I've just turned them up, or, you know, they were turned up anyway, but I just turned them up a little bit more. Um, I really like these. Plain button. Now, let's see what these are. These are 79% cotton, 18% polyester, 2% viscose, and 1% elastin. There we go. I don't know what jean is. <laughs> I don't know what denim is. 
on the back they've got pockets the pockets are really nice actually they're not too wide sometimes if they've got really wide pockets i really dislike it so they've got quite nice pockets on them they're just a really nice feeling sort of jean they've got like a stretchy sort of feel but they don't stretch out too much because sometimes with kmart jeans they stretch out far too quickly when you've only had them on for five minutes and that's usually why i don't like them but these i absolutely love i think they look nice yes they do show my belly but i have a belly so everything's going to show my belly isn't it you know if you've got a belly your belly's going to be on show it's just whether you you know make it look not make it look nice here here's my belly it looks lovely but if you sort of make yourself look nice so that your belly isn't you know the biggest part the part that everyone sees Anyway, I'm waffling on now. I think it's heat stroke from these blooming lights. Oh, my next piece that I've put with those jeans <gasps> is this shirt. Now, I'm sorry, but Kmart is doing fantastic with like their denim sort of looks and their um, shirts and just everything. You can get this shirt in there in a denim look and it is beautiful. I didn't pick it up because I was just like, Do you know what, I've got so many shirts. And then I realised after, I don't actually have many denim shirts, but I've got a million white shirts. So I should have picked up one of the denim shirts. And I think when I go back, I'm going to pick up one of the denim shirts in exchange for this. Because I love this shirt. I absolutely love it. But I do already have, I'm going to say about five white shirts in my wardrobe. And everyone loves a white shirt. They're a staple, aren't they? But I just think, you know, you can go overboard. Five is probably overboard. Um, but I do really like this. I think it's such a lovely feel. I bet it's cotton again. It is 100% cotton. I love that Kmart does all cotton. I think cotton's a really nice feel. Um, it doesn't make you sweat too much. Anyway, the buttons are... Mm, they're a bit yuck. I'm not going to lie. It's got pockets on the breast, which is quite nice. And just it's just a standard shirt. It's a really nice feel, though just a standard shirt it does have a slight pattern i don't know if you can see that on camera but it's not just like a you know plain white shirt it does have a little bit of a pattern in the fabric which is quite nice and i just think this one looks lovely and i think you can wear this on a casual work friday i know obviously i won't be i, I know i'm not at work but i think you know if you are in the office you can wear it as a casual work like sort of outfit with a pair of trousers you know you can put it with a pair of jeans you can put it with a skirt i really like it i think a white shirt's a white shirt and i think that that's a really nice white shirt if you're looking for one i just realized my camera is really off kilter so you might be seeing me and i might be a little bit weird and sorry if i've just pointed that out and you hadn't noticed it before because i hate it when people do that but anyway the show must go on I should fix that really, but I'm just like, nah, it's too hot in here. I've got to get through this video as quick as I can. Do you notice my voice goes really funny? Sometimes I feel like in these videos, my voice goes really, oh, like this. This is their quilted sort of, it's just called a quilted jacket, chambray. It's a size 12 and it's $40, which is quite a lot. But I must say, guys, I really like this. This is like those old style bomber jackets. It's like got fabric on the um, on the cuff bits. It's like a quilted sort of textured jacket. It's, yeah, I don't really like the inside. The inside, you know, when you walk, it's going to make sounds. I don't really like that. But I do think that this is a really nice jacket. I love the fact that they've got like, you know, just pretty standard plain pockets they haven't got like all button details and all stuff like that because i think this jacket can be quite a lot with all the sort of pattern on it but i really like it i think that it's a really nice jacket back's just plain and yeah this really reminds me of the 90s you know when all the bomber jackets were in, in the 90s and you used to have like a black bomber jacket with like an orange inside sort of shining material which was really weird but you know everyone loved them we all loved them um so yeah i think that this reminds me so much of that and um maybe it's nostalgia i feel like sometimes i pick these things because of nostalgia and i'm like stop picking because of nostalgia but tell me if it looks nice because i'm just not sure if it does 
Okay, so my next item, again, is another one I wouldn't expect to get from Kmart. Now, this I really love. It's a size 14, it's $30, and it's called the Soft Touch Best. This, they're not kidding, is so soft to touch. I absolutely love it. You can wear this with, like, a pair of jeans with a white t-shirt, long t-shirt underneath it, and it will look lovely. You can wear it with a vest top underneath it so that this just looks like the top and it will look lovely. It's got a belt that goes around it, and it's just like a sort of waterfall sort of effect cardigan, which I absolutely adore. The colour is beautiful. This feels like cashmere to me. I'm not going to lie. It actually feels like cashmere. And what is it? they're going to be like polyester um it is 50 percent viscose 27 percent polyester and 23 percent nylon now i am the biggest one for saying polyester yuck i've just said that this feels like cashmere so polyester must be doing something right because i'm telling you something this feels like cashmere i'm not joking and i think that this is really lovely I think it's a really nice cardigan. I'm fed up with cardigans at the moment. I just, I'm so bored of them. But I must say, this is beautiful and it feels beautiful. I think it's gonna keep you warm. And I think it just looks lovely. It's one of those styles that never goes out. You know those styles that are always in? It's a classic, you know, the classic black dress, the classic red dress, the classic white dress. I'm just, you know, listing off colors now, but I think that this style goes in with classic and yeah, I don't know, just the feel of it. I love it. I think that it's cute. I think that it looks cute. Tell me if you think so. I think for a pair, girls, if you're a pair, get this because it ties up at the waist and it sort of flicks out sort of towards the calves, shins, thighs. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so tired. I just, oh God. Between my neck and the sun and I baked a cake today. I feel like whenever I come on here, I'm like, oh, I baked a cake today. So I did have something else that I was going to wear and then I couldn't wear it. I didn't bake a cake. Sorry, it's a cheesecake. So it's a non-bake cheesecake. So I didn't bake anything. But I was going to wear a certain top on here and then I got cream cheese all over it because... I tried to um, whisk it and it just went everywhere and exploded and obviously then I had to eat loads of bits that were on the kitchen counter because how can you not? But I, I don't know what, where I was going with that story. I don't know where I was going with that story. Anyway, that's just that story. There you go, there's a story for you. <laughs> I've got to compose myself because honestly, sometimes I come on here and I think, you sound like an idiot, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> right, this one. So this is a size 14 mock neck jumper, $25. Why did I just say size 14? Like that. Um, so this is like a leopard print jumper, and I was a little bit like, mm, I don't know if I really want this, but my nan would love it. So I was like, nostalgia again. I was like, I've got to try this on for my nan, haven't I? She's dead now. But that was like a real sympathy. That was like a real sympathy vote. She's dead now, but <laughs> she's dead now. But I was like, oh man, this reminds me so much of you. She used to love leopard print and pink. She really loved it, honestly. Um, and she used to love cowgirl hats. Oh my God, I got it from my nan. But I thought, well, I'll try it on. I actually don't think it looks too bad. I'm not keeping it because I can't wear a leopard print jumper. I just can't do it. I can't do it. It reminds me too much of my nan. And, you know, no one wants to feel like their nan when they go out, do they? But I really like this one, guys. So I think, I think that this is one that I would highly recommend. And I think for $25 for a jumper. And it's a really nice feel as well. What is this one? Oh, bloody hell. It's 28% polyester again, 50% viscose. I don't know what viscose is. And 22% nylon. So, anyway, I think that this is really lovely. And I think with a nice little brown belt, pair of jeans, well, pretty much what I'm wearing, pair of boots as well, I think this could look really cute. And, yeah, I can't keep it. Like I said, I can't keep it because it just reminds me too much of my nan. And, like, not in a good way. It's not like, oh, nan. It's like, oh, nan. You used to love leopard print, so yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep this one, but guys, if you can rock leopard print, go ahead, rock it, because I think this jumper's really cool. 
Okay, so my next piece I'm in love with and I'm definitely keeping. This is a size 12, $25. It's called the Mock Neck Jumper again, and this is Daisy. I love this one. How cute is this? Honestly, it's got, I guess, daisies all over it, but I just thought that it, do you know what? I tried it on without a belt, and then I tried it on with a belt, and I was like, I, I thought that this jumper could just sort of rock itself without, you know, styling and stuff, but the belt, it just makes it look so much nicer. I really love the look of this one. I think it's bright, I think it's vibrant, I think it's fun. Yep, yeah, Kmart, you've done me proud again with this one. And again, I think this is gonna be the same as the last one. So it's, yeah, viscose, polyester, and nylon. So I've got polyester bits in my, in my wardrobe now. Actually, I've got loads of polyester bits in my wardrobe, but I just don't like it. I don't like buying it because it makes me sweat. But I don't think this will make you sweat because, you know, it's a jumper. Well, jumpers do make you sweat sometimes, don't they? Anyway, boring conversation. I really like this jumper. No pockets, just like the last one. It's got, you know, the standard little ridgy bits at the bottom, ridge bits there. And yeah, it's just got really cute little daisies on it. And I just really love it. I think it looks really cute. I think it's fun and it's very girly. So let me know what you think. Now, I did also say that I have a couple of other belts that I'm showing you. Now, these ones I am keeping because they're the right size. I got them in the medium. I got them in the medium because I wanted to put them around my waist. So I got the large for my hips, but I need the medium for my hips. So yeah, I do think I'm losing weight. But these are just really cute belts. I've got one black, one brown. They've got a little bit of texture on them, you know, like that snake skin look. And they've got a gold buckle. So I do really like these. They have them in all the time. And these are $8 as well. And they're their two-pack skinny belt. If um, you actually like anything that I put up here, I'm not going to put all the descriptions below. But if you send me, if you put a comment down below of what it is, I'll, I'll send you everything you need to know of what the actual product is. So anyway... I absolutely love this. I really think that a belt does just change an outfit. And for eight bucks, you can get two different style belts. That's 16 bucks. And I think you can change your outfit completely. So I put that this on with some of my outfits as well. Um, and you'll see as we go on what outfits I've put them with. So my next top is this. And I think this is a really cool top. So it says Fearless. Ride the wind, Austin, Texas. They love a bit of Austin, Texas, don't they? They really do, good old Kmart. So this is a top where it's not actually like a crop top, but it does sort of come out a little bit at, at the bottom. So it's not like your standard t-shirt that sort of sticks to you a little bit more, which I quite like. So usually with these types of tops, they're a bit too croppy for me and I don't like them, but I really like this one because I don't feel like it's too croppy. So this has really nice sleeves on it as well. I like the way it sits on me. I think that this one is, is one that I definitely like for me. I don't know, tell me what you think, but I like the color. I like that it's got bright colors on it, but it's quite plain. So you can wear it with those jeans and that belt and it just looks nice. And I think you could put a pair of boots or a pair of sandals. You could wear this with a pair of shorts. So it doesn't have to be just autumn or winter. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. This is a size 14. It's called the Crop Print Tee Fearless. And it's $15. And I think for $15, you can't go wrong, can you? Because it looks lovely. I think, anyway. Tell me if I'm wrong. You might sit there and say that it looks absolutely horrible. But I really like it on me. So yeah, I think, I think I'm going to keep that one. Okay, so my next top is a little bit of a throwback again. Now, I don't like this on me, but I do think it's a really cool top. So it's one of their rugby tops. It's a size 14, $15, and it's called the LS Rugby Top LIC Stripe. Purple and green. I think that these colors look quite cool together, I must say. I'm really loving it. Um, it's pretty cool top. I really like it, actually. It's got a white collar, which is quite nice. Plain white buttons, and it's just that rugby look, you know? I, I feel like I used to wear these tops all the time when I was about 15. But I just think it's pretty cool. Personally, I think for me to keep it, I would want different colours. So I don't even know what colours I would want. I don't know, I can't even actually tell you. Like maybe blue and white, I think. Um, but yeah, I do really like it. I think it's quite nice. I think it's a nice plain tee, and again, 
For $15, I don't think you can go wrong. So I think if you do love a rugby top, then this is a great little sort of stylish outfit that you can wear um, that still has that rugby look, you know. Um, but I really like this one, but I won't be keeping it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it suits me. My final top for today, and I was even an hour in whether to get this one and I'm not keeping it because I just don't feel like, I feel like it's a very 90s style. I feel like the whole theme for today is like a 90s style theme. But this top is a bit see-through to start with, so you will have to put a vest top underneath it. I got the size 12 and it's $20. It's the shirt neck top in paisley. Paisley print. Oh, that's that print, isn't it? I used to have loads of dresses in that. That's so cute. I've just noticed that. It's a bit of a dull colour one. It's a bit of a blah one. I'm just not sure how I'm feeling about it. I like the style of it that goes out of the belly. So if you're someone like me who has a belly or you have hips, this is the perfect style top for you because it goes out and it's just, it doesn't sit on your belly, but it's not too poofy, you know? Um, so I really like this. I like the neckline as well, although I don't think the neckline suits me massively. Um, but I just don't like the colours. I think it's a bit dreary. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think. But I think it's just a little bit too dreary for me. And I feel like I just, yeah, it's not the vibe I'm going for. I need a bit more bright. I need a bit more out there. And I feel like this is just plain, keeping it simple and not really the look I'm going for. I've just noticed, I've just finished filming, and I've just noticed I've got like, I don't know what this is. I think this might be left over from the cake. I didn't think that I went near it after I changed my top, but I must have um, because yes, I've got a stain and I do apologize. I'm so sorry. It doesn't look very good. I'm on here talking about clothes and every time I'm on here, I'm just stained and you know, have, you know, loads of, you know, cake, bread, sick all over me. Um, so I do apologize. <laughs> but do you know what, that's life, that's life. I'm a mum and I'm a busy mum and sometimes I just have to do these videos wherever I can take them and I don't have much time. And I have thought before, maybe I should put some makeup on or maybe I should do this. I've got a bit of makeup on, don't get me wrong, I don't just look like this. Um, but I've, I, think, I think, oh, maybe I should do, you know, proper makeup and, you know, do myself. Cause I used to, do my makeup very well and very lovely and I still do um but do you know what that's not real life and that's not me so no I can't put makeup on if you guys want to see me put makeup on or want to see me you know show you makeup then fantastic but I don't want to sit here and be fake when I just feel like if I'm going to do this channel and if I'm going to keep this channel growing if I want my audience to enjoy the videos that i'm putting out and connect with me then i have to be real so anyway that is everything that i have to show you now um what i think i will keep is i really want to keep the denim dress but i don't think i will but i'm going to keep the denim jeans i think i'm going to keep the oversized denim style jacket and i think i'm going to keep the gray top and the blue jumper so that's four things so like i said you know i've got quite a lot there but i'm only keeping a few things because i think only a few things actually look nice on me and i really did want to try it on in in store but there was this really grumpy lady who worked there and i felt like i couldn't try everything on so i had to sort of grab everything and then try it on here where you saw me trying it on um and i feel like that just kind of it, it really annoys me when that happens because i'm like i've only got a certain amount of time because i have children and you know i have a life so i want to get in and get out and i want to try on things so I, I haven't got to waste my time going back and you know refunding things although i do have quite a few things to take back i'm in a little bit of a nightmare with that i'll buy things and then i'll take loads of things back because i'm like it doesn't look right doesn't feel right it's not what i thought it was gonna be I feel like it's really dark in this room. Anyway, um, so that's everything from me. I hope that you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone watching. I've had a few people comment lately as well and I'm so thankful because it's lovely to see that people are liking what I'm putting out. You know, I feel like 
sometimes you're putting these videos out and you're like, who's even watching? Is anyone even watching? But one of my videos got to a thousand views the other day and it was a Kmart one actually. Um, so I'd, I'd gone in and bought more Kmart stuff and then I was like, oh my God, one of my videos has got a thousand views. And I was like, it's my Kmart one. So I wonder if this one will as well, who knows? Um, but I don't just want to focus on Kmart because I think there's so much out there as well. And I think there's so many other shops that are cheap as well, like, um, you know, affordable. I shouldn't say cheap. Um, but affordable so i don't just want to focus on kmart but kmart do do great stuff so and their autumn range you've seen it it's great it is great and we all love a bit of kmart don't we and it's not just kmart clothes it's kmart homeware anyway i'm rambling on i'm rambling on so <laughs> thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video